Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with all of my favorite Cream of Nature products. As you guys know, elephant in the room, I dyed my hair red in the month of May. Um, and yeah, so I've just been getting used to my hair. So um, that's like the main reason why I haven't been on YouTube lately. Taylor and Skye are on summer vacation, so they have been wanting to record for you guys. So it was like perfect. It was like a perfect like... I don't know. It's a perfect plan without planning it. They've been recording since they're out of school and I've been behind the scenes getting used to this red hair. As you guys remember, I dyed my hair a while ago in May um, with Cream of Nature. We went to PK Salon or Salon PK in um, Jacksonville and you guys had a lot of questions. So this video, hopefully it'll answer your questions. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it's not too boring. I'll try to make it, you know, interesting. One question people ask me is, what color do you have in your hair or what brand? So we know it's Cream of Nature and um, we use two different colors. This is their bronze copper and this is the intensive red. So they use a special technique and it's called, I think it's called balayage. It's a balayage technique. It's a French word which basically means like sweep or paint. So that's what they did on my hair. Like they literally painted each, like each strand. So nothing, I mean, my hair is so many different colors of red because of this technique. Um, but first they did go in with the bronze copper and everyone keeps asking me, you know, did they mix the colors? How did they do it? So with the balayage technique, what they did is with the bronze copper, they used this to lighten my hair. No bleach was added. That's another question I get often is, did, you, did they use bleach on your hair? No, the point of this color system is so you don't have to use bleach. So they lifted my color with the bronze copper. And on the back it has, you know, the color um, result guide. But honestly, when they use this, my hair was so much lighter than what it is on the box. And, and the reason for that is because I think that the color result guide, it must be like on Perm's hair or something because my hair is virgin hair, of course. Well, it was virgin hair. Um, so that's one thing you guys can keep in mind is if you have virgin hair, your hair is going to take color so much more than the average person. So natural girls, cream of nature. If you get this box of color, you're going to get the color that you want because, again, our hair is virgin. Um, but if you previously dyed your hair, your, your hair is not really virgin. Um, so if you have permed hair or you had color before or any other type of process to your hair, um, you probably will get the color that the color guy says. But for all of our natural girls out there who have virgin hair you are going to be so excited with your color results because you're going to be overly impressed um so yeah so they went in with the bronze copper first to lighten my hair and then we rinsed i know i was so shocked about that because i was like i didn't know you could do that like i really thought once water hit it that's it but no um, we started on dry hair for the bronze copper. I let that sit in. I think I was sitting with that for about 15, 20 minutes. We rinsed and then we went in with the intensive red. Honestly, you guys, I wanted my hair to be like that red. And it's not really that red and it's because they didn't want it that way. But I'm thinking about, you know, once I get tired of this, I'll put this on top and see what happens. Um... But yeah, so um, then they went in with this red color and the technique still, the balayage technique, um, but it was also a timing technique as well. He would put the color in certain areas where he wanted it to process longer and um, let it sit and then he would go back in and add more color where he didn't want it to process as long just so it'll be different shades of red so he put i mean it was just it was really like art <laughs> like seriously all right so 
now that my hair is colored, um, first of all, to be honest, um, my hair seems to be dry and that is not because of the product like trust me um this is another very important thing i want you guys to understand is your hair needs to be really healthy before you do something like color okay so if your hair is already you already have issues with dryness or you're you have split ends whatever your problems are before dyeing your hair it's gonna be like that when you're done or worse um, so definitely make sure your hair is healthy before you make the decision to dye your hair. So healthy hair is going to take color better. That's just obvious. That's given. Um, so if you do already have, you know, damaged hair or any issues with your hair, don't expect this color to make them better. It's not going to happen. Um, but I've heard from people who do start out with really healthy hair that this color is amazing. It's different than any other brand. Like it really just made their hair more shiny and just a better texture and just more manageable. I've heard that. But for me, I think that my hair is still, I love it, but I can definitely tell it's more dry. And I was very, um, you know, afterwards I was very careful and I was like, you know what? I'm about to wash my hair every week to get it back to its health because basically when you're dyeing your hair you're losing protein out of your hair so you have to put that back and you can't get your hair back on track if you are having issues and that's by doing protein treatments um, and deep conditioning and we'll get into deep conditioning in a different video because I have another product that I want to show you guys but I definitely wanted to focus on Cream of Nature because they have been so amazing to me. So I wanted to dedicate this video to Cream of Nature. Um, for shampoo and conditioner, I do use a different brand. And again, I will explain that in another video. Probably my next video. I'll do the wash and um, condition and deep condition in a different video or protein treatment in a different video all right so we'll, we're gonna skip washing and go to co-wash because I have used their co-wash this is their pure luscious co-wash so the good thing about cream of nature is they have you cover all around the board like seriously um you know, some people may be annoyed when I do videos where it's just the entire brand in one video. But honestly, you guys, that is like a good thing because especially for color, you know, the chemists and, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if they're called chemists, but whoever creates these products, they are creating these products to work together. Um, so that's a good thing. Like when you dye your hair, you should have products to help you preserve the color. So that's why I have been sticking with Cream of Nature. It's really hard to t stick solely to them because I am a YouTuber. I am a blogger. So I have to try out other products because that's my job. Um, but I have been trying to stick to Cream of Nature to really keep my color vibrant. Um, I really wish they had a shampoo and conditioner that had the actual color infused in it. Um, for example, this is their sulfate-free shampoo. I wish that they could combine these two products where this shampoo would be red and I could use this to preserve my color. But they don't have anything like that. I hope they do get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be an awesome addition to this collection. All of these products, it's going to be so repetitive when I talk about them because all of these products really enhance your curls. They add moisture and shine. That's why it is exotic shine color. Like it really makes your hair shine. Like I think my hair looks really shiny and I just love it. Um, but yeah, so this is their co-wash. I use this every so often, not as a cleanser, like a monthly cleanser, but this is just in between wash days when I don't feel like actually washing my hair, then I'll use their co-wash. So then after the co-wash, okay, this is their moisturizing milk mask. And this is a must, okay? This is a deep conditioner, basically. Deep conditioner mask, same thing. This stuff is amazing. It is so creamy and it's thick 
but it's very creamy and milky basically and it really does the job oh and the smell mm -mm -mm. eliminates frizz no shrinkage no dryness this is amazing and a must for color treated hair this is their strength and shine leave-in conditioner and this stuff is amazing and I don't have one of the products because I literally ran out and I need to contact them to get some more but yeah their leave-in is really good and then they have this other product called perfect seven oh I wouldn't even have to use any of these products if I still had that product. The Perfect 7 is like a combination of everything. It's good as like a leave-in. It's good for shine. It eliminates frizz. It helps with detangling. You can use it as a heat protectant. You can use this product for so many things. You can even just style with it and you will be good. But I don't have that with me because it's all gone. <laughs> but yeah, Perfect 7, gotta get it. So, what I style with on a daily basis, pretty much, and I actually styled my hair today. Seriously, like two hours ago, I styled my hair. I had my hair in a puff, and it was so tangled. Like, it was like I hadn't touched my hair in that puff for two days, and it was looking a hot mess, and I knew I had to do this video. So, I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? So, I literally used this Butterlicious Curls. This is like a daily moisturizer, and I use it as a styler, too. Um, so, yeah, I just put some of this on each section, detangled, and then I used their Style and Shine Fo um, Foam Mousse. So, these two products together, amazing. And I just twisted my hair, set under my bonnet dryer for like 30 minutes, and I got this style. So yeah, these two are my go-to. And no matter what brand I'm using, that is my go-to combination now because I figured out that I might be using too many products. So I just stick with a daily moisturizer and a foaming mousse and I twist my hair. Um, also, this little guy, I've been through two of these already, two of them. This is their 100% Pure Argan Oil and it's so cute. It's a little, you have a little dropper here. So yeah, I've been using this after I twist my hair. And this little dropper is so, I mean, it is so helpful. Because even with my hair like this, I could just go in there and put oil on my scalp and it would be fine. Um, so yeah, that little dropper is so helpful. So I use that on my scalp. I sometimes use it on the, on my, you know, the length of my hair too. But usually just my scalp. But yeah, I think that's like the main questions people have is about, is there bleach? No, there's no bleach. Is your hair more dry? No, it's, it's dry just like it was before I dyed it. Um, definitely, I'm going to deep condition more often and really be strict about my regimen because I do have a hair regimen, but I don't follow it to a T every week. Like, I know I'm not the only natural like that. I have a regimen. I have videos that I do for YouTube. And yeah, I research a lot about natural hair and you would think that I would follow everything all the time. But no, that's just not my personality. Um, I have lazy days. Um, never think that YouTubers are perfect. Like, no. Like, yeah, we have all the answers. Just like working out. You know what to do to lose weight. But we don't do it because we don't feel like it. I feel the same way about my hair. Some days I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I may not add moisture every day or every other day like I'm supposed to. Um, so yeah, so definitely just understand when you have color it's time to step it up like you need to follow that regimen and that is difficult for me but i have really been trying like seriously i have trimmed my ends i trimmed my ends um once since um having the color and i trimmed a lot because i wanted my ends to be perfect i don't want them to be frizzy um, so yeah, but anyway, that is my color update. Um, I will have more of my color update. I'll probably record it right now just to talk to you guys about the shampoo and conditioner I've been using to keep my color vibrant and to add kind of like red to the color. So it won't look faded or look orange or anything. I want it to stay red. You know what I mean? 
Um, but anyway, again, special thanks to Cream of Nature. Thanks to you guys for all your amazing comments and interaction on social media. I have a lot of good comments coming from you guys with the red. I haven't came across any negative um, comments whatsoever. You know what? No, I take that back. I have one negative comment where someone said basically says something along the lines that I'm not natural anymore. I'm not 100% natural now that I have color. I have no response to that, but that was the only negativity I got from the color. But, you know, every, anything else, you guys have just been amazing. Thank you guys for being on this journey with me, and I hope you guys are really excited about new videos coming up with my color journey. I definitely want to keep my hair this color. I'm going to rock this until... If, like, until my hair grows and I cut all of it off, like, seriously, once my roots grow in, I'm just going to maintain it to keep it in that ombre look. I was even thinking about doing the bottom half darker. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But definitely, color is going to be part of my journey now. So, I hope you guys are ready. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, girls. Mwah.